Oh dear, it's time to talk about something new that we've gotten that I get to play with and drool over. You've seen the thumbnail, you've seen what this is, at least as far as seeing what it is, which isn't really what makes it especially special, except there are some super cool details on this one. But this is Blake Kuahara, and we are going to talk about their Grey Label collection, which maybe is what they're lesser known for, but still a really cool collection regardless. So lend me your ears or your eyes or whatever you want to lend me. And let's chat about this particular collection from Blake Kuahara. As I mentioned initially, this is their gray label collection. What that means is it's a little bit different from their standard collection in that you have this specially designed temple piece that all of them are going to share rather than where all of them are slightly different and designed to make specifically to the frame. Now that doesn't mean these aren't designed to make together because they do a darn good job at that anyways. But in particular, what's really cool on these is this kind of a bone style hinge design, which meets just like a lot of different bones do. They just mesh up nicely there. Now it's not a ball and socket style joint like some of the Porsche design stuff, but it is cool in its own light. And speaking of light, they are all very nice and lightweight. It is a solid, true Japanese titanium on the face. Super nice, cool look. This one in particular is one of their coolest, very classic, very easy to wear, very natural and nice. The more I look at this one, the more I like it. It's definitely been a good performer, but the style is classic. This particular color combination, very much so. There's one that's solid black. There's one that is a gunmetal with black trim ring. That one I love. If I was going to do something like this, it would be that, no question. It's a little plain for me personally, but those details right there here definitely help. For somebody that wants something a little bit more minimal, with some cool details that just bring attention, this is going to do it. Because you've got, as I mentioned, a very subtle frame. You've got your nice little logo here at the temple tip, which if anybody sees that other than you, uh, you got something else going on there. Hopefully nobody's that close to behind your ear, unless you're getting some sort of examination or some other stuff. <laughs> yeah, the nose pads on these are different from anything in their acetate collection, of course, because it's not just an acetate bridge. But you've got this nice little silicone insert here that is actually encased all the way around. So rather than being a two-part nose piece like most of the frames you'll see, where you've got that hard inner shell and the soft outer plastic over time, those turn green, you're not going to run into that on this one because it is one solid silicone piece. Occasionally these will tear here on the inside. I don't know if that's specifically with these because it seems to be fairly thick through there, more so than some of the others I've seen designed this way. So that one might not even tear as much. If it does, it's pretty easily replaceable. And I say easily is a little bit of tongue in cheek because there's nothing easy about replacing that style of nose pad. It takes a little bit of know-how a lot of times and a whole lot of patience. Yeah. But overall construction, as I mentioned, solid titanium, Japanese hand craftsmanship, which is always going to be ace no matter what. Attention on the detailing here, as I mentioned, you've got that little bit of a skull skeleton knuckle thing going on here, here, with that long stretch in between having a nice bevel to it, still kind of taking that bone structure all the way around into the front. And then with this particular piece, you've got that acetate trim ring insert, which let me tell you from my side, Sucks to put lenses in these because you've got to make the lens, put the trim ring on it, and then mount the whole thing back in. It's not that fun. I'll tell you that right now. The older styles, like your Windsor Saddle Row, that trim ring was on the outside, and you just inserted your normal metal rim all the way around it. Easy. This, not as easy, but works really good. It makes the cool contrast effect that you won't see on that other style because you still get the flash of the gold around that outer rim. The other one doesn't do that. 
Overall weight and feel on these is really good. As I mentioned, again, I think I've said it three times now, you get solid titanium construction, which keeps the weight down. The design of these pads spreads the pressure out really good. It's a nice and large contact zone, so it's gonna have a similar feel to what the acetate frames would just by being designed well. I know that's a lost concept on many manufacturers these days, but thank goodness there's some out there that still get it. They know what good ergonomics are about. Blake Bilhara definitely fits in that category in both of his collections, not just this one. As far as lenses, yeah, they've got a few different designs. Most of them work pretty well for all atomic stuff. Some of them run a little bit wider, and you do have to run and watch your sizing a little bit more carefully in those. Now they've got fingerprints all over them. You've got nice smudgy, smeary spots there. That's another video. We'll talk about how to clean those off. We'll throw that card up there, maybe, or maybe we won't. I don't know. You can figure it out. If not, you can search up there how to clean smudgy glasses from that glasses guy, and then you can curse at me over that video like you're probably doing right now because I am more focused on this. So, if you have not seen or not heard of Blake Kuahara eyewear, I would absolutely check them out because this is just the tip of the iceberg, and that is why we are jumping in gently with these to start with, because the rest of the stuff is super cool. We'll get into that next time. But now, I'm gonna cut it there. Let me know what you thought of this video in particular. If you're familiar with the Blake Kuahara stuff, let me know what you think about it down below. I know what I think about it, and I have been working with it for several months now. It's good stuff. But I am not the one that is wearing it every single day. Unfortunately, I need to fix that soon. I've got to find time to sit down and pick one for me, because me matters. Maybe. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.